Okay, class. After looking at the physical conditions that favor the growth of equatorial rainforests, let us look at characteristics of equatorial rainforests. Remember, there is a diagram I explained in the previous lesson, which was showing the nature of equatorial forests and let us now briefly explain these characteristics. Number one, equatorial rainforests are evergreen. They are evergreen. They always appear green throughout the year because they receive much rainfall. The other one we said it is about 2,000 millimeters per year. So this is why these forests remain green throughout the year. They have buttress roots. These are big roots exposed above the ground level. They are big because they must support uh, these big trees to stand. Uh, equatorial rainforests have long gestation period. The trees have long gestation period. They take long to be harvested. They take long to mature. Next, equatorial rainforests have canopies, outer layers of the leaves, which always appear like umbrellas on top of the forest. Next, equatorial rainforests or trees have had wood. The trees have had wood. They have smooth, thin barks. They have climbing lianas. These are other, pro, uh, other plants uh, climbing, coiling around other big trees. They are called lianas. They have a wide variety of tree species, over 500. The species in equatorial rainforests are many, over 500. The trees are very tall and straight, 35 meters to 40 meters, very tall and straight. The trees have broad leaves, the leaves are broad, they are not narrow. Equatorial rainforests contain many tree species like mahogany, ebony, green heart, and redwood. In case you are asked to identify species of trees in equatorial rainforests, say mahogany, ebony, green heart, redwood. Tree species do not grow in pure stands. What does this mean? You cannot easily locate the same tree species in one area. You need to move from here and there. Mahogany is not in one area. The bone is not in one area, they are scattered everywhere. And this is a problem when it comes to harvesting. There is limited undergrowth. These short other trees of vegetation, grass that grows in the middle of the forest is limited because I think uh, there is no enough space. And again, light does not easily penetrate inside there. And again, the marachas, the droppings of the tree leaves, will not allow this undergrowth. Then, lastly, equatorial rainforests are very dense. We always say they are impenetrable. It is not easy to penetrate because the trees are close to each other. Thank you.